What is water allergy? Or the scientific name is Aquatone urticaria that people not known the existence. Aquagenic urticaria is an extremely rare disease where this disease commonly affects women. It produces urticaria hives after the skin is contact with any form of water. It has been reported based on the researcher only 100 cases reported in medical literature. It is crucial for the aquagenic urticaria patient to avoid any contact with water at any cost. The hives will affect the skin after 50 minutes the skin is in contact with water. After being exposed with water, the skin will react such as erythema, burning sensation, welts, lesions, and inflammations. The rash hives commonly appears on the neck, arm, and chest. Even drinking water, they need to be extra careful because that can cause the skin exposed to the rash and hives. Some patients experience rash around the mouth, difficult swallowing, wheezing, and difficult breathing. The types of water sources that the aquagenic urticaria patient need to avoid, but because of that type of water is naturally produced, they can't avoid it, such as tears, sweat, rain, snow, and others. Lifestyle for aquagenic urticaria patient is completely different from normal people. They need to avoid sport activity that can produce sweat or water sport. For aquagenic urticaria patient, they can take shower like normal people, but they can only take shower for 50 minutes per day. The researcher are still working to discover the exact causes of aquagenic urticaria. Some speculate is the chemical like chlorine. The patient may experience from this hive are due to release of histamine. Histamine means a immune system release histamine as a response to fight off the harmful substance. There are no specific treatment for aquagenic urticaria. Unfortunately, there are no known cause for aquagenic. There are no cure for aquagenic urticaria. However, there are treatment options available to alleviate the symptoms. During the test, a compress of 35 Celsius water is applied to the upper body for 30 minutes. Upper body is chosen as preferred site for the test because of other area affected commonly. It is important to tell the patient to not have any antihistamine for several days before the test. This is the example how the water challenge tests have been done. This is the test using ice cube. The doctor will put an ice cube on the arm of the patient. The patient show the effect of chronic symptoms. For the example, the doctor will put a wet tissue on the palm and after 5 minutes on provocation with water, the skin show a positive sign of aquagenic urticaria. Another test that doctor always done is skin patch testing will show different result. Follow the positive sign result. One positive sign equals to weak positive reaction. Double positive sign equals to strong positive reaction. Triple positive sign equals to extreme positive reaction. Other than water challenge test, giving a direct bath have been attempted. This test needed when the usual water challenge test using a small water compress is negative. But for the patient who have a history of serious symptoms need to avoid this test. Due to reality of aquagenic urticaria, there is a very limited data regarding the effectiveness of individual treatment. But there are a few data regarding the medicine that aquagenic urticaria patient take to calm the urticaria hives. Antihistamine typically used a first-line medical for all the urticaria hives. Cream or other tropical agent for urticaria serve a barrier between water and skin to prevent water penetration into the skin. Epipen only used as emergency alternative for severe allergic reaction. 
also increases blood pressure to reduce swelling and hives. There are instructions on how to use the EpiPen on the cover of EpiPen bottle so that the patient know how to use it. That's all the information and awareness of Aquagenic Alticaria. Thank you.